Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat mga kabayan at mga balikbayan and welcome to another episode of Sagot sa Iyong Katanungan, aking mga kabayan. Ako po si Jamie Iris, ang inyong Talk TV show host na nagagalak at kasama ko po kayo sa lahat ng ating mga subscribers. Welcome back! And if this is your first time to join us in this channel, I simply want to say welcome at syempre, iniimbitahan ko na rin po kayo to subscribe to my channel. Click nyo na po yung subscribe button at yung notification bell so that we'll always be together kapag may bagong updates tayo about travel, current events at marami pa po tayong upcoming interesting at inspiring videos simply just for you. Now, para po sa ating mga katanungan na iniwan ninyo sa ating comment boxes regarding travel, atin na po itong sagutin. Mula kay Jeng Agbone, sabi niya, Hello ma'am, ask ko lang po sa pagbalik ng Pilipinas sa unvaccinated kung ang result po ay negative, no need na po ba mag-book ng hotel? Hi, Jen. Kamusta na? Yes, hindi nyo na kinakailangan mag-book ng hotel kung kayo ay unvaccinated uh, na traveler at negative naman ang result ng pre-departure COVID-19 rapid exam ninyo o rapid antigen test result ninyo, diyan prior boarding, yan yung maganda sa bago nating updated protocol for unvaccinated. Just make sure dala mo yung resulta. And have a pleasant flight, Jeng. Eto naman, para kay Ensenita Gonzalez, sabi niya, Hi, Jamie, tanong ko lang po, pwede po ba maglabas ng bansa ang unvaccinated at kung po pwede, ano naman po mga dapat gawin? Please respond po, lagi ako nanonood sa iyo ma'am, from Anne Gonzalez, Queensland, Australia. God bless po. Hi, Ensenita, at sa inyong lahat yan from Queensland, Australia. Thank you so much for always watching the channel. I'm simply so happy. Okay, Ansenita, may clarification lang ako. So sabi mo, you are from uh, Australia so, and you are asking, pwede po bang lumabas ng bansa ang unvaccinated? So do you mean kung maaring lumabas from Australia to the Philippines? I believe so. Wala naman na pinagbabawal uh, from Australia na lumabas ang anyone who's residing there. At if you're asking, is it allowed for unvaccinated travelers to fly to the Philippines? Yes, definitely. Lumuwag na ang ating travel restrictions. So, uh, vaccinated and unvaccinated Filipinos and foreign nationals are definitely allowed to enter the Philippines. Yes, yung one great thing about the new uh, Kumaga Travel protocol natin to enter the Philippines, both unvaccinated and vaccinated uh, travelers, Filipinos and foreign nationals can definitely enter the Philippines. So, yun lang naman ang kinakailangan natin uh, i-take into consideration yung mga basics. So, if you're unvaccinated, required ka pa rin mag-pre-departure COVID-19 testing prior dumating sa Pilipinas or pagdating sa airport sa Pilipinas. Ang suggestion ko is if you could actually do, pareho yung ano eh, may, um, kailangan mo kasing kompletuhin as unvaccinated traveler and to the rest na nanonood, kung unvaccinated kayo and you're flying from another country to the Philippines, ay dalawang bagay. Ang e-arrival card at the same time, ang tinatawag natin na uh, prior, uh, yung Hindi na RT-PCR test, kahit rapid antigen test na COVID-19 na lang, okay na po yun. So, uh, may option. So, binigyan kayo ng dalawang option kung unvaccinated kayo. Pwede nyo uh, kompletuhin ng e-arrival card. Actually, yung e-arrival card for everyone, unvaccinated and unvaccinated, uh, pwede nyo kompletuhin prior boarding or pagdating sa airport sa Pilipinas. Tapos, uh, sa unvaccinated lang, Record kayo mag-RT-PCR test at least 24 hours before your flight. Pwede din ang option niya, prior boarding, or kung hindi naman kaya ay pagdating ng Pilipinas. Ang suggestion ko para sa mga unvaccinated at vaccinated for the e-arrival card, if you can complete it prior boarding, hindi kayo mahihirapan, mas madali sa inyo, complete it prior boarding. Kasi imagine kung... Ilan ang laman ng isang eroplano, hindi po ba? And then after that, uh, kung lahat kayo ay sa Pilipinas magko-complete, so yung 
pila. Tipo ba, isipin ninyo, hindi lang naman isang eroplano ang darating sa Pilipinas. So, sa akin naman po, although nabigyan tayo ng option na you can complete it in the Philippines, if you can complete it prior, uh, that will be quite great kasi maiwasan yung challenges sa internet. Alam nyo naman, uh, pag maraming uh, gumagamit ng internet, minsan mas mabaga, lalo na sa airport, unless may data kayo. Uh, like ako po, meron ako talagang postpaid at merong data yon So, automatically, pagdating ko pa lang sa airport sa Pilipinas, I have my own internet na sa telepono ko. Pero kung sakaling wala kayo at aasa kayo sa libre ng internet ng uh, airport, so, yun lang po. Baka magka-challenge kasi minsan, nung dating wala pa po ako postpaid uh, from the Philippines, hirap na hirap po ako kasi minsan lang hirap makakonek. Ayan. So, yun po. Suggestion lamang yon Pero yung option is still yours. Now, that is for unvaccinated and vaccinated. For unvaccinated, on the other hand, yung record na rapid antigen test taken within 24 hours before your flight or upon arrival in the Philippines. Bakit ko po sinasuggest kung pwedeng prior departure na lang sa Pilipinas. Uh, simply, kasi kung sa ibang bansa, malakang man yun na kung anong resulta ninyo. So, kung negative kayo, that's quite great. At least, negative na kayo. Kasi, kapag kayo sa Pilipinas, halimbawa, nagpa-pre-departure COVID-19 uh, testing, yung rapid antigen test sa airport, syempre, hindi pa naman po natin alam ang resulta. Looking forward na negative ito. Pero, Tingnan na po natin yung worst scenario, paano kung nag-positive ang isang unvaccinated traveler kapag ginawa ang rapid antigen test sa airport. Then, ibig sabihin po, you have to abide by the quarantine protocol ng ating bansa o ng DOH or Department of Health. At yung number of days noon mga kabayan depende sa severity ng uh, pagka-detect sa inyo ng COVID-19. Kung kayo nag-positive, meron po kasi tinatawag na asymptomatic, may mild, meron yung uh, kumbaga yung talagang matinde, severe. So, yung number of days of quarantine sa hotel, that will be uh, depending on the severity of the COVID-19 kung sakaling nag-positive sa airport sa Pilipinas. Kaya po, mas maganda, tipid na, okay, number one, sa paggasto sa hotel, kung unvaccinated tayo, at syempre yung bakasyon need nyo. Di po ba, uh, sometimes, priceless naman po yung umakasama ang pamilya kesa nag-spend ka ng time doon sa hotel kasi nag-positive ka. So, yun pong reason ko, uh, bakit ang suggestion ko is if you could have a prior boarding, yung negative test result, better. Ayan po. So, Ansenita, thank you so much for always watching our channel. Looking forward yung ating kasagutan sa iyong katanungan ay nakatulog. Should you have some more questions? Drop it down sa comment box natin and I will do my best uh, na masagot ito. And then, let's just take a look from Nenita Custerer. Ang sabi niya, ma'am, Filipina po ako dito sa Germany, immigrant and unvaccinated. Kung uuwi po ba ako, kailangan pa po ba mag-quarantine? Pero bakit unvaccinated foreigners? No need to quarantine. Ayan, hi Nenita, kamusta na? Okay, kung ikaw ay uuwi sa Pilipinas, unvaccinated, whether Filipino or foreign national, basta Uh, kumbaga nakakuha ka na ng RT-PCR test na negatibo ang resulta, hindi ka na magkakwarantin sa Pilipinas pareho yan, sa Filipino at foreign nationals. So, the only time a Filipino and a foreign national na unvaccinated ay magkakwarantin ay kung sakasakali na nagpa RT-PCR test sila sa Pilipinas at ang resulta ay positibo. Katulad ng aking uh, diniscuss a while ago dun sa ating unang subscriber. Then that's the only time maka-quarantine ang Filipino okay? at ang uh, foreign national traveler arriving in the Philippines. So, Ninita, wag ka mag-alala. Kung Philippine passport holder ka, then you can definitely go home to the Philippines. Kang, kahit unvaccinated na hindi na kinakailangan mag-quarantine, kailangan mo lang ng e-arrival card at the same time ng result na RT-PCR test negative. Ayan. God bless you, Ninita. At kung pa-uwi ka na, have a pleasant flight. Mula naman kay Riza Blog or Biag, sabi niya, 
uh, bahay, bakit ang hirap ko po mag-register? Pabalik-balik lang. Hi, Risa, kamusta na? Risa, sometimes it happens, uh, hindi lang sa'yo, kung hindi sa ating ibang mga uh, subscriber din. Uh, ganito, ang itry mo na lang is, uh, try mo mag-register once again using the same browser. If it's the same, lipat ka na ng browser. Pangalawa, check mo din yung internet connection. Data ba ang gamit mo? Baka pwede ka makakonek sa Wi-Fi uh, para at least uh, mas malakas. Kung hindi pa rin nag-work dun sa two solutions na yon, try to use another gadget. Kung mobile phone ang gamit mo, baka may isa ka pang mobile phone na baka mas madal mabilis kumonekta, gamitin mo. Kung may laptop ka, then use that as well. Kung hindi, makisuyo ka kung meron kang kakilala uh, dyan sa iyong area na merong ibang gadget para lang matesting mo and it usually works sa marami nating mga kababayan na nagkaroon ng same challenge as yours. Maraming salamat, Risa. May God bless you. Mula naman kay Marites Alcantara, sabi niya, Ma'am, magta-travel po ako sa November 25 by a Cebu Pacific Airline. Fully uh, vaccinated po ako but no booster shot. Tanong ko lang po ba, need pa ba ng RT-PCR test? Hi Marites, kamusta na? Great news Marites sa bagong protocol natin na inimplement last November 4, 2022 hindi na hindi na kinakailangan ng RT-PCR test kung ikaw ay fully vaccinated without any booster so you can simply go home complete the e-arrival card prior boarding or upon arrival in the Philippines suggestion ko prior boarding mas maganda <laughs> At mas convenient sa iyo para pagdating sa Pilipinas, scan and go ka na lang. At hindi napipila ng mahaba. At maari ka na makwalify doon sa express lane na tinatawag nila. And then after that, dalin mo lang lahat ng dokumento mo. Yung sa primary vaccine uh, na ating certificate or card na proof of COVID-19 vaccination. At yung uh, since wala ka namang booster, yun lang. Dalin mo na. And other travel documents. And then you're good to fly. Ayan. Malapit na yan. Ilang weeks na lang. November 25 na. Have a pleasant flight and enjoy your vacation with your family, Marites. Mula naman kay Greg Darrell uh, Peke. Sabi niya, yes po ma'am, fully vaccinated, two boosters. Clean to arrive po ma'am uh, to the Philippines. Yes, exactly. So, katulad ng nasabi ko, Greg, kanina sa ating naunang subscriber, definitely you're uh, clean and ready to arrive in the Philippines. E-arrival card lang, kumpletuhin mo na yung prior uh, boarding and other travel documents and then you're ready to fly and enjoy your vacation here in the Philippines. Ayan. God bless, Greg. Thank you for always watching. Mula naman kay Emmanuel Ramos, sabi niya, Ma'am, my passport extension expired March 13, 2022 and I will go home the second week of November. Shall I go for another extension? Hi, Emmanuel. Kamusta ka na? Uh, Emmanuel, medyo kulang lang yung information na nakuha ko from you. When you say your passport extension, what is your passport? Is it a Philippine passport or a foreign passport? You said it expired March 13 and then may extension ka. Uh, kinakailangan kasi kung Philippine passport ka, lalo na rin kung foreign passport, valid ang ating pasaporte bago lumipad. to another country. Now, the only time na, halimbawa, ang pasaporting uh, Philippines ay aalaw, halimbawa, na lumipad, na expired, kung may extension na nakatatak. Nangyari sa akin dati yun na nagkaroon ng delay sa Philippine Airport na pag issue ng panibagong passport na hindi aabot sa bakasyon ko. So, what they did, uh, yung passport ko na expired, tinatakan nila ng extension. So, that was honored naman. Flying to the Philippines and flying out from the Philippines to the uh, country. So, if that is the situation sa'yo, yes, you will have to uh, have an extension for your, if that is a Philippine passport, uh, para makalipad ka sa Pilipinas. And, ang uh, masasuggest ko na rin, uh, 
kung as much as possible, uh, tingnan mo yung number of vacation mo kasi kapos na kung November. Uh, and kung kailan ka makakapag-request uh, na pa bagong passport na so that at least uh, hindi ka na magkaka-challenge sa extension. Ngayon, kung ibang uh, a passport yan, like foreign passport, uh, depende. So, check mo na lang. Kung may extension yan, siguro tatanungin ka lang naman bakit nag-extend, ba't hindi na lang pinalitan yung pasaporte itself. Right? Uh, kung sakasakaling nag-expired siya. So, yun yung possible uh, magiging uh, tanong dyan. Lalo na kung foreign passport uh, holder ka. Kasi syempre, ang kinakailangan pagpapasok sa Pilipinas is uh, kumaga yung valid passport. Pero again, uh, It may be the rules uh, same uh, the same rule will apply kung may extension then it may be honored. Uh, pero again ha siguraduhin mo kasi travel document 'yan at ang travel document kapag hindi valid hindi tayo makaka lipad. Ayan. So, you can call, again, yung age, uh, pwede ang Philippine Embassy, but kung Philippine passport holder ka, and then at the same time, maaari ka rin mag-check uh, yan, sa airlines kung ganun yung situation mo at foreign passport holder ka, anong nire-require nila kung sakasakaling extension lang ang meron ka para sure tayo, kasi rules nila. Okay? And they will be the one to let you board or not uh, sa aeroplano. Emmanuel, looking forward that everything will be fine and you can definitely fly and enjoy your vacation in the Philippines. Thank you for watching. At syempre pa, shout out naman tayo dyan sa ating mga kababayan, sa ating mga subscribers na walang sawa, na nanonood at nagpapaabot ng inyong pasasalamat sa ating channel. Simula na po natin from Gloria. Mambalo, sabi niya, hi, ma'am, good morning. Have a blessed Thursday and God bless. Thank you so much and have a blessed Thursday too. From Sal Can Vlogs. Thank you, Coach Jamie Iris, for the update. Hi, Sel. Kamusta ka na? Naku, malapit na kayong umuwi, di ba? So, I'm simply so glad. Enjoy your vacation sa Pinas. From Arl, Marzan, thank you po, Ma'am Jamie. Ang galing niyo po mag-explain. God bless you po. Hi, Arl. You are most welcome. And thank you too for the kind word and compliment. I really appreciate that. God bless you too. At from kay Akiyama, Estrella. Sabi niya, hello, Ma'am Jamie. Always watching from Japan. Po, sa mga, thank you sa mga updates. Always take care and God bless. Domo arigato gozaimasu, Akiyama. Talagang appreciate ko ang palagi mong panonood from Japan. God bless and take care as well. Gayon din kay Jocelyn Tanito. Sabi niya, always watching Jamie Iris Talk TV. Stay safe and God bless you always. No skipping and watching from New Jersey. At syempre, hello sa inyong lahat dyan sa New Jersey, Jocelyn, and thank you always for watching. At syempre, from Akiyama pa rin, sabi niya, hello Ma'am Jamie, watching from Japan, take care and God bless. And of course, kay Jocelyn, sabi niya, present Jimmy Aris, uh, Talk TV, be safe. And God bless you always watching from New Jersey. Maraming salamat po. Tunay po nakakapagbigay kagalakan kayo sa akin. Salamat sa suporta, sa encouragement. May God bless you. And I'll see you all uh, in my next video. Thank you. At syempre, sa lahat po ng bagong viewers natin na hindi pa po nakakapag-subscribe sa ating channel, Nais ko pong imbitahan kayo sa aking channel na please subscribe at click nyo na notification bell so that you'll get updated pag ipago tayo mga video vlogs simply just for you. Laging pong tinandaan saan man po tayo dako ng mundo. Taas noo, tayo po yung mga Filipino. Muli ako si Jamie Iris, ang inyong Talk TV show host na nagsasabi, may God bless you at have a pleasant flight sa lahat ng mga upe. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.